hello guys welcome you all in a new video and this video is totally dedicated for the consumers who is using samsung android smartphone especially this video is totally dedicated for the samsung m14 model so if your m14 samsung model is locked due to forgotten pin pattern and password lock and if you had hard reset of your samsung m14 model then after hard reset when you will switch on your phone you will get a such type of display where you will get a welcome pop-up language option start button and emergency call button okay now after that when we will go through all this uh, option whatever is showing here let's check what happened go to the agree here go to the more and agree now one more thing I would like to tell you my friend your phone should be connected to the Wi-Fi network so you can see here I have already connected my phone to the Wi-Fi network then after you will have to go to the next option here. Now let's check what happened to the next page here. So here you can see after hard reset it's again asking your pin pattern or password lock. So don't worry at all here you are getting the another option that is showing here use my google account instead. When you will tap on this google uh, account instead option you will switch to a new page and the next page is you can see here it's asking your gmail id and password. So if you have remember your gmail id and password then you can easily feed your gmail id and password and go to the next option but if you don't have your gmail id and password so you can see here you're not getting any skip option on this page so in this video i will tell you how you will get a skip option in this page because this page is known as frp lock page which is generated by the google to secure your smartphone when your phone is stolen okay so with the help of some settings in your setting page you will get a escape option on this page okay now after that firstly you will have to you have to come on this welcome page now after that here you will have to firstly change your language option and you will have to change your language for english india to english us now after that you will have to go to the ok now after that you can see here you will get the another option that is a start and emergency call so simply you will have to tap on this start option go to agree to all and go to the agree ok now after that you will have to go to the agree option now you will come on this page so here you can see that is the wi-fi network page from here you will have to switch on your phone's talkback option and for this you will have to press the power button and the volume up button press hold and release now after that you will have to tap on this use the next again you will have to repeat the same here now here you will have to draw a opposite l like this now after this you will have to tap on this while using the app now after that you will have to double tap on this use voice command open google assistant open setting now when the setting page will appear on your phone display firstly you will have to switch off your talkback option and for this you will have to repeat the process to power button and the volume up button press hold and release now you can see here that the uh, talkback option has been switched off some viewers says that your phone is not locked so you can see here you're getting here at the top corner that is locked animation is showing here so make sure that this phone is locked due to forgotten uh, frp lock okay so after that you will have to make some changes in this page firstly you will have to score a line and come to the page that will show here lock screen here for the first option will show here lock screen type you can see here so when you will tap on this option you can see here it's not working but you can see here the lock screen type is showing swipe here okay so don't worry at all simply you will have to scroll down and come to the option that will show here face recognition okay so after that you will have to tap on this continue so you will get a such page so after that you will have to uh, tap on this continue option six time one two three four five and six now after that go to the back option here now the next option you can see here the showing here about lock screen you have to tap on this lock screen and you have to tap on this open source license option when you will tap on this open source license option you will get a new page where you will get a lots of text on this page but you will have to copy this url from here
okay now copy this url and go to the back option and back now after that all the settings has been uh, set up in this setting page go to the back and exit from setting page now after that you have to go to the back option and start the page again agree to all from this page go to the agree go to the more and agree now here you will have to tap on this add network option and you have to come on this setting page now firstly you will have to again change here language option you will have to check this english us and uncheck this english india option now go to the back now you have to tap on this add text shortcut option you have to tap here now after that here you will have to paste that url which you had copied from here you have to remove this slash option from here just a minute it's taking some time remove this slash and from here okay now here you will have to type that is star has zero star has and add this one now the all the setting has been done from this space go to the back option and again all the setup has been done you can see here after that simply you will have to start from here go add it to all agree now go to the more and agree from this space now after that you have to tap on this next option now select here don't copy now my friend you can see here where the gmail id and password was asking there was not any skip option now you can see here you are getting here a skip option in this space now it means your phone has been completely frp bypass now you have to simply tap on this skip option and skip this gmail id and password credential now after that it's a simple setup of your smartphone if you want to use new pin pattern or password lock you can use from this space so i'm going to use a new pattern lock from here now go to the ok now it's a simple setup of your smartphone you can easily do with your own go to the next skip from here you're all set up then you'll have to tap on this finish option go to the ok that is agree now select a language go to the continue select your gender and age criteria you can also skip this option but i will suggest you select uh, all the gender criteria and the age criteria now go to the install and finish so you can see here the samsung android smartphone has been completely frp bypassed and the pin pattern and password lock has been completely removed because you can see here i have applied a new pattern lock so you will get a new pattern lock which you had applied to your phone so you can see here the new pattern what you what i had uh, applied on this phone you can see here so this video is totally dedicated for the m14 model for the frp bypass so complete method is for the frp bypass so if you want to get a new videos on the factory data reset so you can also make a comment to make a video for the factory data reset of your samsung m14 model so if this video helped you to bypass your frp lock of your samsung m14 model then do the like this video and if you have stuck anywhere in this video then make us comment our team will definitely respond on your comment and help you to bypass your frp lock of your samsung m14 model so make sure don't skip a single step in this video otherwise you will have to watch this video again so thank you so much see you in your next videos